So we're out here with John Jones. So uh, the weigh-in, you were a little excited? Yeah, just a little bit. Yeah? Just a little bit. And, uh, you know, I, I tend not to lose my cool. And I don't think things were really going to be, like, a big issue. I think, uh, you know, because every weigh-in I've had so far, I've kind of gotten close to the guy. And yeah. Got a little, a little close. Um, I think Dana White, like, separating us kind of amped it up a little bit. And once, once with the adrenaline already pumping, you know, once you get all physical, it, it can elevate really fast. And, uh, you know, I've been thinking about Brandon Vera, dreaming about him, training for him, and to be that close to him. And, you know, it's just, uh, it, it taps me into a different mode. Yeah. So were you planning on getting that close to him? I have, uh, if you look at, at like, pre, uh, well, like, other uh, weigh-ins, I get pretty close to all my opponents. Yeah. I try not to look them in the eyes and I like to stand real close. And uh, it's just something that I've been doing since day one. But, uh, and I was planning on that being exactly the same. And, uh, you know, it, it just got a little heated. So you think it was uh, Dana kind of escalating it by trying to be preventative? Yeah, you know, because, like I said, I've been focusing on Brandon for a long time now. And so just to be around him, my cheek, it's really high. You know, my energy, my strength, my adrenaline starts to pump. And, uh you know, when I have that feeling in the fight, I obviously control it and, and learn to relax and use it. Um, but when you're not in a fight, you know, and it's like, I don't know, it was, yeah, bottom line, yeah, Dana separating us and getting that, that mental and the physical, merging it together, it was like, kind of got me all riled up. So it was a momentary lapse. So I shouldn't take that as like, you're overwhelmed by the situation. Because you weren't overwhelmed, you no. know, last time you were on the, the headliner on free TV. No, I'm not overwhelmed. Yeah. No, no, not at all. Okay. I just, I really don't like Brandon as a fighter. Well, as a person, you know. Why not? Um, I just think he's disrespectful. I think he's really arrogant. I think he's full of himself. And uh, so far, in all the experiences that I had as a martial artist, you know, everyone's like really humble and respect each other's game and, and uh, you know, worry about themselves, worry, you know, worry about improving themselves. And uh, I'm finding a lot with Brandon. He has a lot to say about Mr. Jones. You know, Mr. Jones the second coming of Jesus Christ or you know he hasn't been kicked yet or he he just talks a lot of trash and uh, I'm not big on trash talk so I'm going to really uh, do all my talking in the octagon. So when he says you haven't been hit yet I mean can you back back that up and say hey you know in training I get hit pretty good or is that different? Well I do get hit in training but it's like um, I'm sure every opponent I've ever, I've ever fought wanted to hit me you mm -hmm. know what I mean so to say that I haven't been hit yet that's not my problem you know I'm sure Bronner and O'Brien and Hamill all these guys really wanted to hit me and, uh, and they weren't able to you know land anything real devastating I've uh, I've taken I've taken punishment in practice you know I trained with Keith Trudy and Rashad Evans Joy being a lot of guys who tag me up every day so um, you know he's a talker and I guess I let his his arrogance get to my under my skin a little bit and uh, it's just a learning experience you know in the future I'll, I'll deal with talkers better so in a way is this a good trial run being up on stage, maybe losing your emotions a little bit for the cage tomorrow to make sure that doesn't happen in the cage? Absolutely. You definitely don't want to fight out of anger or, or you know, aggression or anything like that. You know, I'm a relaxed fighter. No matter how hard he pushes the pace or, or how intense or fast the pace is going, you know, I'm always relaxed. I'm always a thinker when I'm fighting. So, uh, yeah, you know, I know that I won't be fighting like that out of anger and aggression in the octagon. So, Maybe I needed to get that out. Yeah, is Jackson working in your corner? Because I know Greg is really big on not losing cool, and oh, because yeah. he's had a lot of guys the last year yeah, kind of go off their game plan. So I'm sure he's talked about it. Yeah, we actually had our talk already yeah. about, about me losing my cool, and uh, you know he's big. We're big on everything happens for a reason. So maybe we need to just get that out of the way. All right, good deal. What are you going to eat now? Uh, I think I'm gonna have some pasta or like a brown rice or something. Maybe some fish and uh, a lot of vegetables, a lot of water, a lot of Peter light, and. Uh, Something real salty to let this water stay in me, and uh, I'm gonna get my size back. Probably get back up to what about 222 something. Like I'll that? probably get up to about 219, 220. All right. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you.